Shalom. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, teacher. Can you hear me well? Yes, clearly. Okay, good. So, uh, let's check the homework first, right? Thank you, Kangkan Tun Tong and Suzanne. Where is, where is Susum? First of all, I don't think I might take the photo of the, I mean, the, the homework form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So whatever, I believe you all, you have already done your homework, right? You, uh, you gave yeah. my the, you know, what, what book, right? Yes, I gave you workbook. Yes, of course. Workbook page number. Let me make sure the page number. Is anyone who want to make sure for the page number? Uh, wait, I will check it. Yes, 100. 104. Three and a one, oh, yes. two, I guess. What's yeah, what about the I think I gave you one. Okay, I think I gave you homework, the scenes of the crime on page number 104 and 105. Is that correct? Yes. No, yep. 103 okay. and 104. 103 and 104. Yes, 103 and 104 as well. Okay, so let's do one I think the chair is lagging. Uh, one of the. Hello, can you hear me? Um, yes. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me right now? Yes, I can. Okay. So, here, you know, uh, the question rewrite the sentence as using the third quart conditional, right? The third kind of yeah. conditional is if subject has if battery. A, battery mm. and I wouldn't have the battery. Okay, good. So for number two, let's check the answer for your homework. Number if two. I, I, yeah. Mm, yeah, if I had it, yes. If I hadn't had my mobile phone Would with me, I for my, to, I won't. I wouldn't be able to call the emergency, emergency service. service. Okay. I wouldn't have been, been able to. Able to, to call, right? Or, yeah, if you want to use able to, you must use being, okay? Use with the main of cold, you can use call the emergency service. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, but yeah. a little bit laggy. Mm, okay, yeah, a little like it because you know, now I am in the, how should I say, in the streets of the high building. So that's why a little like it. Oh, you're mm -hmm. walking and then like teaching us. How about no? No, 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 I'm not working. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to the school because I don't want to lose the connection with you. That's why, you know, I left my home early. <laughs> That's why mm. I'm just in the way.
Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, I did share. Okay. So um, for number two, I will tell you two answers, right? Top two possible answer. If I hadn't had my mobile phone with me, I wouldn't have been able to call the emergency service or I wouldn't have called the emergency service. Okay, so you, your answer can be wouldn't have been and wouldn't have uh, uh, wouldn't have called. So number three, I didn't know you were in trouble, so I didn't help you. So how would you answer? Fine, yeah, come go. Where are you? Are you yes. there? Yes. yes. What is your answer? What's your answer for number three? Wait, can you tell me the page number? Oh my god. Eh? Page number one or three? Oh I just, my god. I just, I just listened. Oh hmm. You just listen. You are practicing for your listening skill. You mean like that? <laughs> Uh, so one or what? Page number one or three, number three. Uh, oh my god, one or three. No one, one or three. Oh, it's war book, war book. Mm. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Let it go, let it go. So, Indra, uh, yes, uh, yes, you need to turn on, wait, wait, wait. you need to turn on page number one of three. What book? No one of four. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, um, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. How about Indra? Mm. Um, uh, yeah. Yep. But number two, right? Yes, of course, number three. Um, if I if I had known you were in trouble, I wouldn't mm. have helped you. I wouldn't have helped you, or I would help to you. What, what? I wouldn't help. I what? Mm. would. I I won't, right? I won't. Yeah, I, would. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't help you. I will help you. I don't yeah, I would. It should be positive, right? Because for the first, for the origin of sentence, it is also negative, right? So the first clause is negative and second clause is also negative, right? So when you answer to number, when you, when you change to the answer, it gave you positive. So if your first clause is positive and second clause should be positive. So the answer should be, if I had known you were in trouble, I would help you, right? I would I help, help you. you. Am I correct? Yes. So you're lucky. Hello, Indra, do you hear me? Yes. Yeah. 
Hello, Andra, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Teacher left. Okay, so Indra, have you got the answer when I tell what I told you? Yes, I got it. Okay, so now let's go to number four. He robbed a bank, so he went to prison. So what, what, what's your answer? Uh, for if he hadn't to rob the bank, he, the he would bank, have he gone to the prison. prison. Uh -huh. If he hadn't robbed Rob a bank, bank he, he would have yeah, gone to prison. Gone to the prison. Okay, he would or he wouldn't. What? Wouldn't. Huh? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't. Yeah, it should be wouldn't, right? Because yeah. the answer they're giving it, they're giving an answer, answer is negative, right? So he yeah. wouldn't gone. Wouldn't have okay, he wouldn't, yeah, he wouldn't have gone to prison. Okay, so number five. He looked out of the window, so you saw the robbers escaping. If you had it look out of the window, you wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have seen the robbers escaping. I've seen the escaping, the robbers. Mm. Yeah. Say yeah, you're lucky. Hi, I can hear you. You cannot hear me? But in my in our area, it's just a little lagging. Oh, but I can hear you well. Where is the why is happening like it? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm okay. okay never mind. Yeah, I can hear you a right little now. bit. So, yeah, never mind. I can. Yeah, okay. So now let's go to page number 104. <clears throat> the scenes of the crime. Hmm. This is the scene from a play called the Davenport Diamond. Look at it carefully. What time of day is it? What time of year it is? Okay, so what time of day it is? Night time. Hello? Why why do you Hello? think that is a night time? Because there's a yeah, moon. Can you hear me? Outside the window. There's a moon outside window. the window. Window. Wow. Can see. wow. Great. Yes, that is great. And then how about the time of the year? There's no time. Hmm? The time of the year. Can you guess the time of the year? Yeah, the time of the year means like the season or something like that. The year like 1960 now, I like that. Oh. There's no clue about that. I didn't answer it because there's no idea. <laughs> I think it's winter. Century of that picture? No. Oh, yeah, what is the answer for that? Mm -hmm. Hello, Gaga, can you guess what? Yeah, if you cannot, if you, how about the seasons of the year? What kind of season? What kind of season is it? It is fall. Autumn or autumn or fall. 
Okay, why do you say so? Because like the weather seems to be a little bit cold, and also you can see some leaves over there. So in it in fall, mm. like it's a little bit oh. cold, and also the leaves. For your place. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We we can see the fireplace as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one of the character in the play is a detective. He interviewed the only one, the only witness in the case. Uh, the woman who saw what was happening in the library. In your notebook, write your hard answers. Number one, why did you go down to the library? Uh, here, the witness says, I couldn't sleep, blah, 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 blah. And I hear the detective ask one more question. Who did you see and what was he doing? Can you describe the man, what he looked like? What was he wearing? Okay. So can, if you were a witness, can you describe, can you describe that? Yes, for you. Yes. Oh, okay. So for the first question, who did you see and what was he doing? How would you answer that? He was like, he was in the library and looking for, looking for the like, the book and in his home, like there's a diamond. Mm. He seems to okay. like a recession or something in, in the book. Yes. So can you describe the man? The man is with a long coat, um, like the, you know, the, the like, it was, he was like kind of thin body and also like, mm. he, he got the bag, I guess, like the, in like in his, in his arm. And also like yeah. the hair is like, kind of like the short and a bra. Mm -hmm. And also like the shoe, um, the shoe is like, you know, the long, the long shoes. Long leather shoe? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, is there is there anyone who want to edit more about the how to describe the man? Do you do you want to edit more? Do you want to add more information about describing the man? He also had a long hair. Mm hmm. Long. Sorry. Long hair. Long hair. Long hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And then how about his facial expression? How about his face face? How would you describe his face? No. Mm -hmm. How will you describe uh, his facial the feature? His, you know, face, his face means that uh, with how, how about the eyebrow? No, no, no. How about the eyebrow, the nose, the lips, something else? Oh, <laughs> uh, he is handsome guy. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think he is handsome. And he said he's fashionable. I think he is. <laughs> 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 so you mean the theme is very fashionable? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I like okay, that kind and... of hair. Okay, good. You can have the such kind of hair. Um, yes. Yeah, so what did he look like? He's already done. What was he wearing then? What time was this also then? Uh, what else did you notice about the room? Okay, so next question. What else did you notice about the room? Uh, we knew the was room, open, yeah. the drawer yeah, was, was open. Mm. The painting, right? Yeah. Mm, yes, the painting. And then another Why thing painting? is... The fire. The fire. Okay, here the question asks you doors, windows, lights, that sort of things. Full art wood book. Oh. Mm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the bookshelf, right? The bookshelf the bush is uh, filled with uh, but like, filled with the books. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then mm. and there anything else? No more. 
Okay, so okay. now let's go to number three. More interesting things. So the yeah the example. This is the same scene from the play, but on a different night. Some of the details are different. What are they? And here's an example. Find ten more. Okay, now the first example here is there isn't a lamp on the table, but there is a candle burning. Yep. Okay. So how? And then how about next one? What would be next? Rachel, can you tell us the one of the difference? Okay. So, um, <laughs> there isn't a scarf on the sofa. Um. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There isn't a sofa. There isn't a scarf on the sofa. Yeah. Yes, there isn't a scarf on the sofa. Yep, correct. And then, Dong Uh, the door is closed. The door is closed mm. instead of slightly open. Mm, yes, correct. Okay. Then, Emery. Uh, what the first one there is like about it is two thirty a.m. But well, with another one is three a.m. Okay, so oh yeah, here's the time, right? The time the time is three a.m. In the second photo, right? But for the first picture, what is it? 2.30 or 3.30? 2.30, right? It's 2.30. 2.30. Yes, 2.30 a.m. Right, okay. Hello, Kamizu. Are you there? Yeah. Okay, so can you discuss, can you tell us the, the fourth sentence? What do you see next? Hello, Mr. Um, the first picture, the door is open, but the second picture, the door is closed. Mm, I think Duncan Tuno has already discussed that sentence. Uh, okay. Yeah, do you see anything more? Uh, okay. First picture, the key is... Um, there is there is a key on the table. There is not a key on the table, but second feature, there is key on the table. Yes, correct. Thank you. And Kong Kong. Uh, in the first feature, uh, there is a bag uh, on his arm, um, but in the second feature, there is no bag. Mm, yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you. And then Suzanne, do you see any more? Um, yes, like in the first picture, like the, the thief is like holding the diamonds on his right hand. But in the second photo, like the thief is like holding the diamond with the left hand. Yeah. And then you can continue next one also, right? Holding the book. Which one is holding yeah. the book in the first So what about one? the fire? Fire, please. Yeah. Fire, please. Okay, the fire place yeah so the fire the fire in the fireplace what happened it's burning so you can see that there isn't any fire right yeah there isn't any fire in the fireplace yep. okay thank you so now let's go to new chapter okay let's choose a new chapter for the cost book. Let's go to the cost book. Okay. So which one we needed to be finished? Hello. Did we finish? Uh, no, no, no. Oh. Did you, did we finish unit 11 training and, sorry, learning and training? Is it done? Wait, no, I guess. Which page number, by the way? 
Okay, let me make sure for that. Learning and training. Unit 11. Page 88. Mm, let me make sure. Yeah, page number 88. Did we finish that one or not no. yet? Not yet. Oh, yeah. Not mm -hmm. yet. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that one, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, you know, I would like to discuss with you. I have. I have discussed with teacher Dusa, right? Um, we will keep on this global book, maybe for this month, right? And after that, we will start chapter point nine next month. Is it okay for you, or do you want to start? Do you want to start chapter point nine okay. or in this month? It's okay, teacher twice. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I also I would like to discuss with you because. Checkpoint nine is, as you know, you know, checkpoint is a little more, a little difficult, more than global. That's why, you know, we yeah, have yeah. planned to do, we have planned to do, you know, we have planned to teach you checkpoint nine next week, uh, maybe about two minutes. And after that, we will prepare, we will practice for the Spiceman paper. I mean that we will prepare for the exam. We have already planned that like that. So is it okay for you or how do you want to? Yeah. It's okay. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. So we will we will go to global uh, this global English books for this month, right? Okay, so now let's go to page number 88, 11, unit 11 learning and training. Are you all are you all there on that page? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, gong gong. Uh, what happened? What about the exam result? I, teacher Tuza, I think teacher Tuza will tell you the result of the your exam. Don't worry. You could you could answer right. You could answer well right. No. Huh. Why not? <laughs> Why not? The question is very easy. Why not you answer? Not very oh, hard. Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very mm. deep, yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I think you good. don't, um, I think you don't read the question very carefully. That's why you, you think that is difficult. Maybe I will fail. Mm. Mm. I, but I think maybe for English, you won't fail. You will, you will pass English, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now let's start. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the uh, like is... testing. Sorry? Have you done uh, like have you done like checking the result? Um only just we have already we are on the process, we are on the way to do it right now. But we need to oh, discuss something okay. that's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still checking. Okay. So here the title, the topic here is a little more interesting. I think the topics are good teachers and good learners. Mm -hmm. Hello. The question here is in the age of the internet, do we still need teachers or not? So can you give your answer as well? Hello, what do you think of that? In the age of the internet, do we still need teachers or not? Yes, we still need yes. them. Um, mm, okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can you give us the reason? Yeah, because teachers are like, they can help you with everything and they can be open with them. Like you can even um, discuss everything with them. But for the internet, you cannot. Like you can just search uh, just search some information on the internet and not like like human. So you need teachers, and teachers are really important. I guess because like they can like I think they're really important for the um, teenagers and also the students. Mm. Like, okay. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> what what happened? <laughs> 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 Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. 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 Indra, what happened? Indra, what happened? 
the holiday. Holiday, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Holiday. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What's holiday? <laughs> Twelfth July and nineteen July. Ah, uh, nineteen only nineteen July. No, only twelfth. Also twelfth July. Hey, twelfth too. Twelfth to nineteen. No. Yeah, twelfth oh, yeah. and then nineteen. Only two two days. Not oh, 12, only two days. Twelfth day. Twelfth and that nineteen. That day is like Azani, right? No, Azani day. And then twelve oh, is. How does how does how does they Azani mean in English? How do they? Twenty fifth day. Independent. <laughs> That's not the independent Indep day. No, no, no. That's not independent days. Independent days is Lala Yin Yeah, we go Azani. Wait, Lala Yin Nei. Namema. Hmm. Olay matamale Lala Yin Nei. Yeah. Yeah. Azani yah Lala Doai. Lala. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you have to work and pair. What kind of person does each of the following need to be? What skills and knowledge do they need to have? You have to make notes. Okay, army instructor, driving instructor, fitness instructor, primary school teacher, university lecturer, tour guide, careers counselor. Okay, I think we need to make a group. How many people is here? Seven, including you. Seven minutes. Yeah, no, not including me. I cannot include your participants. <laughs> you are uh, <laughs> your groups. I cannot put all of them in your group. No problem. Okay, seven. So, how many people do you want? Three or two people? Three, three. three. Two, three. Okay, three. Two, 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 so, two. one group. Wait. Hmm? Three. 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 Okay, if you say so, three, one group will be four people. Is it fine? No. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. Yes or no? no, no. <laughs> okay. Why well, not? Find too many people. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. What do we need to do? Hmm. We are going to discuss about the speaking, the topic, the topic on page number eighty-eight. That's right. Okay, so Susan, can you can you help me? Can you support me? Huh? You're not. Oh, okay. No, host here? Oh, oh no my god, host. I'm not the host, no host. Again. Oh my god. Okay, so no problem. <laughs> if there is no host, no problem. So I'll give you a time. So you have to th you have to think it yourself, right? I'll give you maybe five or seven minutes to think about it, right? So. Hello, Swan. Are you there? Yeah, but Hello. I don't even know what you guys are even doing in the first place. So why did you even ask me? Okay. I Now we are doing on page number 88, chapter 11, learning and training. Are you there? Uh -huh. Are yes, you there? I am. Okay. If so, we are going to discuss that one. Yes. We are going to discuss number one. Do you see that? Hello, can you hear me? Not really. Oh, no, no, oh, no. no. We, can, we can hear. You can hear me, right? Okay. Oh, okay. 
Okay, if so, let's start. So, Gongan Jinjong, are you there right now? Uh, yeah, the lights went out like a minute, like a couple of minutes ago. Mm. Back. Yeah. Okay, yep. Um, hello, Rachel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are six topics there, right? So which yeah. one you, which topic do you want to choose? Hmm. Hold on, Lenny. happened? Okay, which topic do you want to choose? Um, fitness instructor. Uh. Oh, fin fit fitness instructor? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yep, thank you. So how about, how about Susan? Um, actually, wait, what can I choose? Um, um topic, uh, tour guide. Okay, tour guide, yeah, Susan. Yeah. And then Indra. University letter. Ha! Huh. Oh. <laughs> Very big one. Yeah. That. Okay. Yeah, university lecturer. And then ah, how you about know. How about and then you may know you me. Yeah. You win it. So Gunga, how about you? Which one? Which topic do you want to choose? Oh one. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. You must choose one. You cannot say no. Ah, okay. Um, primary school teacher. Primary school teacher? Okay. Yeah. Gao is primary school teacher. <laughs> yeah, yep. I don't then, know why, but I hate the primary school teacher. Why? No, why? it's okay. You, you're going <laughs> to change it right now. You have already chosen. Okay, Gao Gan yeah. how about you? Which one do you want to choose? Um, I guess driving instructor. Sorry, I'm the instructor. Yeah, driving, driving instructor. A uh, driving instructor. Okay, that's a skill. And then how about Swan? Ask me again. Yeah. <laughs> Page number eighty-eight, number one. <laughs> Question me, uh. Yeah, the question is you have to work in pairs with your friends right now, but now we are talk we are choosing the topic first, right? Your friends already chosen driving instructor, fitness instructor, primary school teacher, university lecturer, and Tokai. So you still need to choose carriers, councils, and army instructor. Which one do you want to choose? Um army instructor. So, okay, good. So, Emery, are you there? Yeah. Mm. So, so I... Okay. Carrier counselor? Uh, Toga, you want to choose Toga? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you have to discuss with Susan, I think. Uh huh, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, how about you, Sue? Are you there? Yes. Hmm. Which one do you, which topic do you want to choose it? Primary school teacher. Okay, primary school teacher. So you have to discuss with Gang Gao, I think. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Wait, so uh, no one, uh, no one, no one, no one. Yeah, it's okay. We can choose it because here are only oh, just seven. These are the other two. Seven people, but eight uh, eight people with seven topics. That's why I ask you, you choose more. Right. Okay. So I'll give you, <laughs> how long do you want to take time? Five minutes or eight minutes? Hello? How long do you want to take time? Uh, yes, no hope. No. For what? I will tell you what to do, okay? So, for what? 15 minutes. Uh, no, 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 15 minutes. You have to think about 
you have to think million. about, you know, can count, please listen to me. Okay, you have to think about what kind of person does each of the following need to be? What skills and knowledge do they need to have? You have to make notes for them. You got it? Yes. Okay. Hmm? You have already done? Yeah. Oh my God, it's so fast. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. She is not a human. <laughs> Yes. She's a That's supernatural. She's, she's a supernatural one, right? No, she's a robot. No, it's computer, not human. <laughs> okay, so I'll give yeah, you five minutes. Uh, no, I'll give you five minutes, right? So you have no. to think about what skill. Uh, Rachel, I think maybe you better wait to your friends because they they need take to, they need to take time, right? So I'll give you five minutes. Think about. What kind of person does each of the following need to be? Uh, what skill and knowledge they need to have? Right. Okay, please note it down. And after that, we will discuss. Any question? No. Yeah, thank you. So take five minutes. Have you finished? Yes. Okay, so how about others? Are you all done? Oh, no, no, yeah. Mm -hmm.
Hello, I think you're a Dan right now, right? Okay, Sven, have you finished thinking about this question? Okay, so. Um, hello, hello, Rachel. Rachel, let's start from you. Okay. Hey. Let's start from you. Mm. So, fitness instructor. So, the part that yes. he needs to be a good role model for others because he is a fitness instructors and if he has like a um let's say like if he has a really nice body which everybody does admire like every like the people who comes to gym will also get motivated and like they will also try hard to change their body just like uh, just because they want to be just like him so like he could be uh, he must be a good role model and after that uh, he must be a good communicator uh, to explain the movements of the exercise very clearly and to communicate with the people. So he must be a really good communicator and he must be a leader rather than a follower um, because um, most of the people who go to the gym, like they usually get tired when they do lots of exercise. So they don't, they easily want to give up. So if, if like if the fitness instructor is also a follower, like it will be, it, it will be like bad for both of them so a fitness instructor must be a leader so that you could he could lead the people and he could like motivate the people and yeah and well organized so he must uh, he must have that uh well organized um, skills or something like that to organize the people's um time schedule or something like maybe diet schedule and sort of like you really need to like you really need to make those kind of things for uh for the people who come to gym too so they sometimes ask for, or ask you to do the, like those things so just be like well organized and you must be patient either and you really you like you really need to be able to motivate other people because as I mentioned so people usually um, give up easily because it is it is not easy to like to work like how to say to work out and do some um, tiring stuff so you must be able to motivate them and it is it is like emotional I mean emotional intelligence skills it is that skill so you really need to have that skill to be a fitness instructor I guess so yeah, yes that's all. yeah this is really great and okay thank you so much hi everyone let's give a applause to your friends okay so Rachel can you choose one of your friends Um, I mean, maybe I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. Okay, okay. Um, driver instructor, I think, like, the skills they need, like, they need to understand, like, the road rules. And then uh, they need to also know how the car parts, like, the, the parts of the car work. And then the, the type of roads and the, like, which, like, what, like, how much speed to go in, like, certain weathers. And yeah, and then they, I think, they, like, if they're teaching somebody who's not that much skill, I think they also need uh, patience, and then good communication skills with them, and then like uh, teaching stuff, a uh, teaching uh, skills that is related to driving stuff. Okay, thank you so much. Hi everyone, let's give a pause to your friends. Yeah, thank you, Duncan to Town. Can you just next one? Swan. Swan. Where yeah. is Swan? Yep. So how am I supposed to start the um quote unquote the um 
what should I say? Skills and knowledge that they need to have. Would I just like start off with the facts that an army, good army instructor have to physically be like physically be better than most people. And they also need to have a knowledge of, you know, army, um, <clears throat> history, tactics and stuff like that. And also the fact that in Burma, the army instructors were literally taught teaching recruits to kill civilians. Actually, that's just our army. Never mind. <laughs> Let's talk about other, other military um, instructors. Um, yes. So okay. this is just army. Okay? This is like normal armies. Okay. Not like Air Force or Navy. Yep. Okay. Of course. So they need to be like physically be, um, you know, good. They may, they might, like they have to be like, how should I say, bath mounted, but in a way that makes other people think like to motivate them, but not like in order to like hurt them. They need to be like a, um, a really good leader and they need to be a really good communicator. Yay. And they also have yeah. to the ability to knock down a few pieces of a person, metaphorically, to show the person that they should be a really good soldier. Mm, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. So, can you just next one, Swan? Hello, Swan. Can you just next one? Um, uh, Emery. Okay, Emery. I think for this topic, Emery and Susan. Okay, so let's take it down. Who would be first? Okay, I will. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want to play the tall guy. So if you firstly, like, if you want to be like the tall guy, we all need to be like the skill, which is like the communication and the society. That was the very important. And also, we have to know what they like. Um, like about the you know the history of the what things to explain the explain the people like with the clearly and then in that way like they can be really interesting about the, what they what you are saying about that and also it need to be like the communicator and also be the like a good explanations yeah these two are the, the most important things I guess for the token. Okay, thank you. So how about Emory? Um, Do you yeah. want to add in more? Uh, yes. So as a tour guide, the first thing I guess we need is the communication skills. Since you have to communicate with a lot of visitors and also a lot of local people. And another thing is knowledge uh, about including the weather forecast and also some details about the local regions and local people. And Togai also must have problem, problem solving skill. What is wrong with my pronunciation? It doesn't matter, no problem. Yeah, I just drink a sip of water. So, problem solving skills. Okay, thank you so much. So, Emory or Suzanne, can you choose one of your friends? Indra. Okay, Indra. She loves. She loves. Yes, I don't see. So, I don't see Indra here. Close. <laughs> Kanyesu, okay. Kanyesu, <laughs> Kanyesu, where is Kanyesu? She's there. She's there. Yeah. Mm. Mizu, Mizu, which topic did you choose? Oh, that's no means. That's only get. No, I see here Kanyesu. I see here, I see Mizu. This one means this cat. Hmm? Really? Yeah. Upper fine like a 
Uh, <laughs> okay, so Kang Kang. Eh, what? Kang Kang, can you just get? Yeah, Kang Kang. Oh, okay. I will choose you. Uh, mm. Now it's primary school teacher. Uh, they they need to pass high school and university. Uh, they must have their ability and uh, their the vision to teach the children. Uh, the most important thing is uh, they have to learn how to be and uh, school to the children. What? In this way, like you, you got. Hey, 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 this is not the skill. This is not the skill, I think. This is not the skill no, the teacher this. needs. Uh, uh Okay, okay. So let me listen. Yeah. Can you, can you think? Can you tell us more about it? No. That's all. Think positive. Think positive. Hello, Kai Miesu. Are you there? Uh, okay. Hi. Uh, it's here. Did you call me? Oh my me? god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I called you. Where were you? Because I want to go to toilet. Oh my god, you better tell you better leave the message, right? Ah uh, yes, yeah, sorry, chair. Yeah, it doesn't matter, no problem. Uh which topic did you choose for page number eighty-eight, number one? Uh primary school teacher. Okay, yes. Can you discuss about what you thought? Yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> primary school teachers is, need to be a good communicator because they need to be able to interact well with students and and, and also need to be a good role model because they should be a good role model for every student. Yeah, it's okay, no problem. You can you can tell us what you have done. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Okay, yeah. Whatever. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Okay, so Andra, 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 no, no Andra here. Okay, thank you. Oh, do you see Andra? I don't see Andra here. She's trying to join. Yeah, she's trying to Yeah, she's trying to connect in. Okay, so whatever it is, while we are waiting for Har. Now let's go to use of English, prepositional and phrase verb to do with learning. Okay, so now let's go to use of English, prepositional and phrase verb to do with learning. Are you all there? Yes, sure. Yeah. yeah. So I would like to ask you one thing. What is different between Proposition of verb and phrase verb. Are all of the same? No. Now the same. Okay. So what is the differences between them? Uh, for the pre uh, preparation, like phrase is like kind of Toto. This is like uh, in time, like using the you know the the, the preposition with the kind of now, like combining that one. Mm -hmm. So for example, like mm -hmm. you can put on the diet or something like that. But actually, like mm -hmm. the, another one is you mean the phrase but same when we. Another one is phrasal. Yes. Phrasal is only just like look for or like 
the gag or like like that one. Right? These are the straight of it. Look for okay, something. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Kelly, Is there anyone? They are the hmm. off and then back off the use. Actually, my turn, and I'm not. Oh, okay. Yep. Thank you so much. So, how about others? Do you want to discuss about them? Rachel, Emery? Hello, Rachel, do you want to discuss about that provisional and further work? Um, okay. So, um, proposition of love is like, I think it is like, uh, uh it's like the com combination of the, the verb, uh, and the prepositions. And the phrasal verb is like, phrasal verb is like, how to say, it's like, it is, <laughs> wait, why is it to say? Well, I don't really know, but they are different. Like prepositional verbs are like you use with the prepositional verbs and phrasal verbs are like just a phrase made up of any types of um, verbs. Like it can be also adverbs. And also it can, it can also contain some prepositional verbs too. Phrasal verb is like a phrase of the phrase. Prepositional is not like that. So you mean the phrasal verb is a phrase which works like a verb, you mean like that? Yeah. Maybe so. Okay, so how about Emory? I don't know. Yeah, thank you. What, thank you so much. Hello, Emory. Do you want to discuss about that? Where's Emery? Hello, Emery. Maybe she's lagging right now. Okay, so now let's look for the details information about is there any differences or no differences between proposition and phrasal verbs? Okay, please Google it. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Okay, please look for mm -hmm. some of the information about is there any differences between proposition and phrasal verbs? Okay. And after that, we will discuss that. I'll give you three or four minutes to Google, to look for the information about that. Hello, do you see the differences now? Yes, teacher, I sent in the Viber. Oh, really? Okay. Let me check too.
Let me check in virus. Sure. What's mean transitive and intransitive? Uh, transitive and intransitive is that those are verbs. Mm, okay. Thank you so much. Okay, so here verb plus prepositional list. And uh, next one is phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs versus prepositional verbs. Okay, so for phrasal verbs are made up of a verb root and um, particle. For preposition, prepositional verbs are made up of verb root and preposition. So for the phrasal verbs can be either transitive or intransitive and prepositional verbs are transitive. Okay, next one, next point is, phrasal verbs can be either separable or inseparable. Uh, prepositional verbs cannot be separated. Hmm. Thank you so much. This is really helpful. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So I also, I would send you one of the, the thing, one of the definition of differences between Preserve of the preposition. Do you see? Do you see the message I sent you in Viber? Yeah. Okay. So the question is, the question is, what is the difference between preserve verb and preposition of verb, right? So here it's a it's mentioned that a preposition of verb is a combination of a verb and preposition, as Rachel discussed, right? For example, look at look, laugh at, look at, listen to, agree with. But a uh, phrasal verb is a combination of a verb and preposition or an adverb or both. So bring up or give up, pass away, look after. Do you know what is different between them? Do you know right now? Do you know what the message or what the notes want to tell you? Uh, wait, did you? Uh, yeah, because you know, when we make a preposition and verb or phrasal verb, right, we must use a verb and preposition. But what is different between them is preposition and verb doesn't change the original meaning of the main verb, right? But for phrasal verb, it can change. That's it. Yeah. Are you okay? Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. So like for the like when we are say like the look at mean like which is mean to refer to the look right? Yes. If you say look up, look up mean here is that if you use as a phrasal verb the meaning of look up and uh, look out you know watch out. Okay. For example, I will tell you one more example. If we use watch out, okay, you can say can you watch out of the window. So here is a preposition of verb because the original doesn't, the original meaning doesn't change yet, right? But when you use, hey, watch out your head, here watch out is already, the meaning already changed, right? Here the meaning of watch out, watch out your head means take care of your head, right? So the original meaning is disappear and the new meaning is occur. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yes, like that. Okay, so here are some of the example. I'm not, um, the example, let's see the example on page number 88. I'm not very good at looking up words in the dictionary. I try to get away with doing as little as possible. And also you can say, I am not very good at looking up words in the dictionary. I'm not very good at looking words up in the dictionary. Okay, so if you can separate the, uh, that phrase. So can you guess, is it phrasal verb or preposition of verb? Preposition of verb. Yes, correct. Thank you. And the next one, but if the object is a pronoun, for example, there rather than words, you must separate the two parts of the verb. And I'm not very good at looking them up in dictionary. Okay, so I think this is uh, the next point is telling you to have to be, you have to be careful of some things you see when you use a reserve verb or proposition of verbs. Okay, so now let's do listening. Are you ready to do listening? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay, so, um, 
Suzanne, can you support us to do listening? But you know, I will tell you one thing before we do listening. Number two, okay. you have to listen. You, we are going to listen to four short presentation from a career days of a school. Who is giving each of the presentation? Right, we have to listen to that one and please note it down. Okay. Okay, I will share the screen. Yes, can you share? Can you share the screen? Okay, good. Track 18, 1. The great thing about my job is that you can make a real difference to the way people feel about themselves. I've sometimes worked with clients who aren't in good shape and have low self-esteem. It's amazing the difference that working with them just for a few weeks can make. This career is a good one for those of us who might dream of being international footballers, champion swimmers or top athletes, but realize that in reality, we're not going to make it. Teaching others to enjoy being active is a great feeling. It's very rewarding. The qualities you need for this job. Well, clearly you need to be very fit. You need to be able to motivate people. And of course, you need to know about the body and how it works because you don't want anyone to injure themselves. One of the nicest things about my job is that you meet all kinds of people from lots of different places in the world. That's why it's an advantage if you can speak one or more foreign languages. You need to be a good communicator and make sure what you're saying is interesting. Of course, you need to know a lot about the places and the buildings you're showing people, but you've got to remember you're not a university lecturer. Your job is to make the information clear so that everybody can understand it. You need to be outgoing and friendly, and you need to have a good sense of humor. And of course, it's helpful if you have a good, loud speaking voice. <laughs> Three. In my job, communication is very important. You need to give instructions clearly, and you need to be able to make people see the importance of discipline and of following orders. I'd say you need to be a leader rather than a follower, because you want people to look up to you as a role model. But you also need to understand that the people you're instructing might be very young, perhaps straight from school, so you need to be aware that they might be homesick, for example. They're probably not used to living with a lot of other people, and they're probably not used to really pushing themselves physically or to living by rules. Four. In this job, you need to be well organized and enthusiastic. You need to have a good knowledge of a variety of subjects and be able to explain them very clearly in simple language. It helps if you're musical and if you're good at sports. You need to be good at multitasking, good at doing several things at once. You also need to be quite creative and good at making things. And above all, you need to be very patient. <laughs> okay, okay. Have you got the answer? Have you got the answer? Yes. Okay, good. So number one, who is it? Fitness, um, fitness instructor. Yes. How about other? Do you agree to her answer? Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yes, yes. correct. I agree. Okay. So how about how about you? How about you? The second Car one. Car guide. Car guide. 
Yeah, tall, tall guy. Tall guy. guy. Yes, tall guy. Tall guy, right? So Suzanne, if you want to be a tall guy, you need to listen to this yes. conversation, this conversation again. This listen to this conversation again, and after they note it down, right? Yeah. Also, like so they said, like they need three. to have to be like a good communicator, and also like languages also need, right? Yes, you need to read a lot of books because you must fill with much knowledge. That's why, okay? Yeah. Yeah, this is good. So number three, what's number three? Um, like primary school teacher. Primary no. school teacher. Yeah, it's, it's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how about number four? Like University literature. 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 Mm. Okay, university lecturer, right? Yeah. Mm, okay, correct. So now let's go to the next one. Page number 89, reading. Do you have to work in, your, in pair? Read the sentences and work out the meaning of the underlying phrases from the context. Choose a dictionary if you need to. Okay, even though it says work and pair, let's do it together in the class, right? So, school subjects. Number one, I find maths really difficult and I can't always keep up with the rest of the class, which means that I fall behind. So here are two phrases. The first one is keep up with, and second one, I fall behind. Okay, can you guess what can be the meaning of those two phrases? Um, keep up with the rest of the class. You mean the, the yeah, the meaning of keep up with. And next one is fall behind. Can you guess what will be the meaning of those two phrases? Think like um, keep up with the rest of the class is like um, he can't he can't like uh, he can do he can do well in maths like uh, the, like the rest of the class do so he is not like yes. well with the rest of the class something like that I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how about others? So uh, what I find in the dictionary way in the Google, like they said, like to go and make the progress, progress are at the same rate as the other. That uh, which means like to stay even with the others in that race or competition. Hmm. So how about fall behind? How about fall behind? Fall behind. Okay, so what is like, the meaning of fall behind? Something. Feel something. Yes, okay. So you, you, okay, you two, you two discussions is uh, almost the same, right? And almost correct. Yeah, keep up with, keep up with me that we do, we continue to do something else. But here, the, the meaning here is I can't. I can't always keep up with, I can't always keep up with me he couldn't continue uh, the rest of the lessons, right? And here, which means that I fall behind. I fall behind me. He couldn't understand the lesson. That's why he just stayed back. It means like that, right? It means uh, he, he is late for his lessons, right? Okay, so number two. I'm quite good at maths, but I can't do without a calculator. I can't what do without. Mean? Which mean like you cannot you can't do that. without a calculator. Yeah, it's very simple. Yes, can you tell us? Oh. Yeah, this is very simple. Yeah, can we yeah. can we discuss that? Yeah. Okay. Um, like something which is like very neat and important. Which is for the calculating. So if you don't have to calculate it, you cannot do anything. It's me like that. Mm, yeah. Okay. So number three, 
History isn't my favorite subject. I try to get away with doing as little as possible. So here yes, I try to get away yeah. with doing. Yeah, it's me like get away with me like always. I try to get away with doing as little as possible. Okay. Um, like the thing is like if you are doing not um like not interested in, like doing something like but however like he the the person might have to be like to try the best of the a little bit more as soon as possible like that. I'm not sure my explanation. Yes, it's okay. Whatever, no problem. Thank you. Anybody else? Hello, Emery, Indra. Do you want to discuss the? Oh, Kankantanto is not here. Yep. So, Indra. Hmm? Do you know which page number we are discussing now? Yes, page number 80, 89. Good. Okay. 89, number three. Try yeah. to get away. Yeah, try to get away with doing as little as possible. So, do you want to discuss about the meaning of that phrase? Hmm. Like, uh, it's, uh, history, is, history is not a favorite subject, right? So, she, need, uh, she or he, he uh, doesn't try, doesn't try to get away with doing as little as possible. What is that? Yeah. And you can say that he, uh, that person, he's, he doesn't like, he doesn't he like, doesn't uh, like history, the history. Yeah, and he, then he, he usually he don't want to do, he don't want to do the history as little as possible, I think. Yeah, you're correct. I try to get away with doing as little as possible me. He tried, he tried to run away. He tried yeah, to yeah. run away then to like learn that. his. Okay. <laughs> He don't want to try. He was trying to run away. Yeah, yeah, get away, get away with, get away with me that you know running away. Running. <laughs> yeah, I can leave. Correct. I bet like. Right. But teacher, I think like get away with doing as little as possible. So, doing as little as possible is like you. Uh, you like to try a little more, like I, yeah, I don't like that. Something like yeah, yeah, it means like that, I guess. Mm, okay. You yeah, avoid doing only a little work on that, like only a little studying on that history. He tried to get away of that, I guess. So he tried. Okay, so I would like to ask you one thing. Can you look for the meaning of the phrases of get along with? Can't allow it. Can't allow it. Uh, that that phrase is not in this question, but I want you to know the the meaning of "get allow it." Get allow with me, like, which is mean friendly with somebody. Mm -hmm. Friendly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. How how can you make sense by using get along with? It's like a long relationship. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Get along with it together, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. For example, like the, in, in Google, like they said, like, don't worry, we will get along with that. Like, for example, like the people send it. It was to have a friendly relationship with someone. I thought it could get. Okay. So now let's go to number four. I like English, but I'm not very good at looking up words in the dictionary. What is the meaning of look up? 
Sorry. Yeah, find words. Do you find you you looking for the words, right? Yeah. Hmm. Look up. Look up. Okay. So yeah, next one. I like creative writing. I'm good at making up story. Making up me the create right. Create the stories. Mm. Yeah, make up here. Yeah, make up means, you know, here make up means create, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm looking for the words, the meanings are kind of way with you in. Have you looked up? Have you looked up that one? Yes. Hmm. What does it say? Get away with. Get away with something like uh. Get away with something. Mm -hmm. You try to. Run. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here, you know, when I when I look for the meanings of get away with, uh, uh, the first, yep, okay. I'll say another. Hmm? Keep going. Hmm. So here, the first explanation. The first one is to steal something and escape with it. You know, get away with something means to steal something and escape with it. And the second one is to receive a relatively light punishment. And then number three is to do something wrong and not to be punished for it. Number four, to manage with less of something than you might expect to need. Hello? Yeah. I, I think maybe the food meaning food meaning is more appropriate to, to, to do well when we do translation. Number four set, quite four set, to manage with less of something than you might expect to need. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So we can imagine that, you know, when we are afraid of something, we try we to apply from it. <laughs> yeah, okay, like that. Okay, so I think I would like, to, I should give you homework mm -hmm. for page number 89, the one in class. Do you see that one? Yeah. Okay, please note it down, please. Page number 89, number four. The topic is in class, and next topic is outside class and homework. Two subtitle, right? Um, yeah, you got it. Hmm? Page yeah. number eighty-nine, number four. Yeah, yes. we have number already discussed about school right? subjects. Yeah, sister fifteen, correct. Only that one. No, 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 no. Tomorrow, and after that, no, tomorrow no, has to check. No. Okay. And next one is number five. You have to note down the number of the sentences in exercise four, which apply to you, which apply to you mean that uh, some of the phrases you can use as your own, right? So please make sentences, maybe about four or five sentences by applying the phrases from exercise four. Do you understand that? You got it? Yeah, sure. Okay, only just four or five sentences your own, right? Yeah. Okay, so you have two homeworks, right? The first one is you have to look for the definition of the underlying phrases. And the second one is you have to write down some of the sentences by using the phrases from exercise four. Is it okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. So see you tomorrow.
Bye, Chad. Bye, Chad. Thank you, Chad. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.